Hi guys, John here, and we're back with more Firewatch. So, last time we learned about Henry's backstory uh, with his wife, Julia, and her unfortunate um, fight with dementia. And we learned that that was one of the reasons, if not the main reason, why he volunteered to become a fire watchman in Colorado, I think they are. Um, on the first day of the job, he had to go to the lake to stop some drunk teenage girls from setting off fireworks because obviously that's a major fire hazard and uh, when he got back on his way back rather he saw a mysterious man in the canyon looking at him and then by the time he got back he found out that his lodge had been vandalized and his typewriter had been thrown out the window to the ground all very mysterious the only other person we've met so far is Delilah who's in an adjoining tower which you can see in the distance from the windows and she seems to be our point of communication throughout the course of this game. Um, and all of that was pretty much day one. Quite eventful. Let's see what happens next. Continue. When you're ready, come yeah, on, you can do it. Power. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, uh, okay, so basically, um, I terminated the game too soon, maybe, last time? I don't know. Okay, well, this was the closing events of day one. So a fair look at, yeah, it's, that is where... Delilah is, as you can see, we come up here, there you go, there she is, she can see us, we can see her. Uh oh, we vandalized. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. I can't believe this shit. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh... Okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I so that's what Julia and Henry look like. Ugh. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Oh, I cannot get that on the... Could not get that photo back on the desk. So here we go, day two. What's going to happen next? Wow, this, this is slow loaded. Uh, I've got to say, so far I'm enjoying this. The, uh, the two characters, Delilah and Henry, um, are really well acted so far. It feels natural. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. 
That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Um... I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So... that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. Cool if you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so oh, it looks like we tidied up a bit and got a blanket. Fair enough. Okay, so um, man, that photo's still on the floor. There we go. That'll do. So today we're going to see if any of the communication lines are down in our area. So let's go down the stairs. Can we go this way? There's a hell of a view from up here. Oh, we can go this way, but it's the wrong way, so let's not. Right, so let's get down the stairs and then we'll uh, open the map and see what's what. Oh, there's Delilah's tower right there. Now, if I remember rightly, we find the outhouse, which is around here somewhere that would lead us in the right direction towards this assistant uh, right way towards getting back to that cave yesterday cinder blocks I wonder if that's what you used to smash my window here we go there's the outhouse so There's the ball. Okay, so yeah. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I I could have lived without knowing that. I've got to be honest with you. I did not need to know that. Okay, so. Let's have a look. Whoa, careful. That's where we are. Uh, that's the cave. I, I guess the end of this red line is where we're going. Yeah, okay, let's... Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. They said north when you come out of the cave. So, do we want this... Ah, oh, there's the telephone wire, the dotted line. Oh, I see what they mean. So, go back to the cave and back to Thoroughfare Trail. And that will lead us to the telephone line. I wonder which way we're supposed to go once we get there. Because presumably, it could be broken in either direction. Okay, enough talk. Let's just go. Oh, well, hang on. Do we have... Bear tooth point. Ah, careful. Bear tooth points at the top there. So a fair trail. Okay, well that's the general direction. So let's go. I might have to go around. Probably supposed to do. It's probably a trail somewhere I'm supposed to be on. Uh, 
<laughs> Five seconds in, I'm lost already. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's a path. Drop down. Wow. That seems like a big drop. We press. We do it again. Yep. Fair enough. Okay, let's just uh, make sure we are going in the right direction. I'll stop using that stick. It's the right hand stick to scan the map. Remember that. Yeah, we, yeah, okay. Windy trail to the cave. You're not going to try and drop down there, are you? No, you're going to walk around the outside like a normal person. Do some jogging, get some fitness in us while we're at it. Um, I remember seeing this before. Nope, that's right, let's go. Oh yeah, I do remember jumping over that. Okay. Should be nearly there now. Cold morning fog. We put fog, really? Okay, go on in. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um, I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well, but you're taking a little break, or we're. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Okay. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Yes, you do. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Hmm. Sounded like she got a bit defensive there, didn't it? I wonder what that was all about. Okay. So, uh, well, we made the caves. And there we are. We're back out. Here's the river. Hi, Cash. Let's see what's in here. We're not going to be open this last time. Okay, more map information, that's good. Copy that on. Uh, what have we got in here? Flashlight, yes, definitely take that. Ah. Knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Horn? There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Alright. Okay. 
So that's handy. So she's heading north now, right? Which is that way. Just make sure we're in the right place. And we are. So we've just got to go through Thoroughfare Trail and get to the phone line. Which means crossing the river and not following it like we did yesterday. Or, yeah, well, yeah, day one. So, yeah, it would have been yesterday. There we go. Okay, well that's going to be a cliff, but no, nope, that's fine. So I guess this is the trail, right? Very quiet. You'd expect there to be more animals, wouldn't you? I know we saw that one stag when uh, we were making our way up, but that was it. Oh, here we go. That looks like uh, phone lines to me. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So I'm following it that way because it doesn't look like I can get up there to follow it that way. Okay, let's go. Okay, looks good so far. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. What is this? What do we have here? Okay, so the wire, wire seems okay from here. Um, so fair 5.4 miles. There to 0.2. Okay, now the wire stretches in that direction, but before we do that, I want to see what this is. Old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe... Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Okay. So. Guess we're going this way then. I mean, look. From here. We can pretty much see that the wires okay all the way up to the top of there. Right? But, you know, I guess we best go and make sure. Seriously though, no animals. What's all that about? Oops, careful. Don't want to be falling off any cliffs. Uh, well, there's obviously a trail. I'm, I've gone the wrong way here, haven't I? No, nothing to report. Um, I need to get down there and run along that bit. Okay, uh, let me see. Oh, here we go. We'll do it this way. Beer cans? Who left that there? Oh. Henry, you're a braver man than I am. She isn't saying a lot, but there you go. Uh, okay, is this Bertrand's point? Uh, I should probably consult the map at this point, if I can figure out how to do it. There we go. 
Wow, yeah. Got there real quick, didn't we? There's a cash box nearby, 302. See if we can find that in a minute. Oh, the map is just down here somewhere. That might be it. Okay. We'll look for that in a second. What the hell? Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Um. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. And they also left us a, a message. Ah, <sighs> these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my shoes. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Yeah. So the beer cans for the girls. And uh, there's another one there. Which kind of suggests that they went down that way. Um, however, I'm going to go this way briefly. See if we can find that cash box and then I'll just come back up and um, get on the trail of the girls then. Oh, maybe I won't. I forgot about that long drop down. I'm not going to be able to climb back up, am I? Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Okay, well that takes the uh, choice out of the game, doesn't it? Looks like I'm going back round the other way, even if I don't want to. Okay, so there's a pole. That's right, isn't it? That's where I want to go. That's where I need to go. I think. I don't know. I'm going under there. I'm not going up there either. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me go back up to the damage pile. Beer can there. The other beer can's disappeared. Did I kick it or something? Look at that, there's a supply box I wanted to get to, and now can't. 
till next time anyway I suppose um, okay map time That's where we are. The lake was all the way down there. There's a supply drop up there. Um, I don't know. Moves that way. So I, I, oh, the, the beer can's back. Hmm. That's suspicious. Oh look, it's like all real maps. Cursor on the map moves when you do. Very Harry Potter. Okay, we're making our way down. And there's another beer can. Alright, let's put away the map for a bit and uh, see what we can find. These empty beer cans are the trail that the girls are leaving. They're really quick at drinking them. Another long drop down. Okay, two forks is that way. Supply drop is that way. Jonesy Lake is that way as well. I kind of want to check out this supply drop. I know I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to be going the other way, finding the girls and that, but oh hello, what we got up here. I'm just a rebel. That's my problem. Okay. Assume that the uh whoops, codes are the same for these as well. Oh, they're empty. Moss Peak, Two Forks and Spruce. Huh. How disappointing was that? Oh well. Maybe there'll be something in it later on. Well, let's go back to where that signpost was and make our way round to the lake. There we go. Okay, so. Not two miles in that direction. Alright, come on in. Oh, we'll cross the log. What is that? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Uh, wow. Excellent. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, 
They took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay! Don't know what to say to all that. So Brian Goodwin and his dad used to be here in uh, Two Falls, uh, where we're stationed at the moment, and somehow his uh, backpack got left behind. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to use the camera on anything specific, but I guess I've got 18 exposures to use. Mm, use them sparingly, I guess they've got to last me in the game, haven't they? Rappel. Okay, so we're just going to leave that there for when we come back, or if we have to come back. Oh, hang on. Right. <laughs> Okay, the rope bit I did, now how do I get down from here? Oh really? Come on. What am I missing here? Oh, that's what I'm missing here. I have to do more repelling. Sheesh. Yeah, okay, where were we? 2 falls 1.6 miles, Jonesy Lake 1.7 in that direction. Supplier cache. Uh, which one is this? Oh, can't get these controls under control, so to speak. Oh, it's not the one we missed. Okay. Nevertheless, supplier cache is a supplier cache. That one's okay. Copy that. What have we got here? Uh, Dave, guess what's going on with Debbie next week? No, not that. What? No, look at this. Oh, wow. Uh, Steve, it's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy, Two Forks, and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lols. What? So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw a chimney rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Uh, okay. Wow, that's weird. Loose stone. Fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Or maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Huh. Okay, let's put that back in the box. Whoops. There we go. At least we know where to find it. Okay. I'm going to take a break there. Uh, we'll pick this up next time. We'll make our way in that direction towards the lake to try and find these girls and teach them a lesson in some variety. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Click like if you have. Leave a comment below. And as always, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time. Bye.